Cassius Clay was smitten with the fight game. As an adult, in front of the world, Muhammad Ali mastered it. His larger-than-life personality outside the ring blurred the simple truth that Ali was one of the best fighters who ever lived. Heart artist or warrior, he performed with a guile and grace never quite seen in the heavyweight before or since. Here are 12 rounds that define his genius. 12 blasts of Ali the boxer, and by extension, Ali the man. Here's Ali's dozen, and trust me, it's a must. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. First up in Ali's dozen, the 1960 Rome Olympics. In his last round as an amateur, Muhammad Ali, then still known as Cassius Clay, took to the international stage and put on a show. Here's a first-hand account from Ali's Olympic teammate, one of more than a dozen eyewitnesses who described these defining rounds and what it was like to witness history. Cassius was 18 years old. He was a kid. When he went to Rome, he was awed by the experience, and he wanted a gold medal very, 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 very badly. I think he wanted his gold medal more than the rest of us did. Cassius Clay of the United States takes on Ziggy Petrikowski of Poland in the finals of the Olympic Light Heavyweight Boxing Championship in Rome. His gold medal fight was against a Polish champion who had quite a reputation, quite a name for himself. Ali went out and he moved well, and he was boxing, moving in and out. Cassius measuring his man. Feeling the guy out, trying to see what he does and what he'll go for. The second round, there was the pockets of Ali's superiority. Clay piling up the points here in round two. In the third round, the fight was simmer, only Ali put a little more pressure on. Clay looking very fresh here at the start of the third and final round. Ali threw more punches, and more punches in bunches, as you would say. Double jab, triple jab, move to the right, double jab, and circle to the left. He was doing all those things, and it makes it hard for any opponent who is not as fast as Ali on his feet to get a punch in. His opponent hit him a couple of times, but it had no significance. He was as graceful, you know, as a ballet dancer. And there's his famous shuffle. You could put an orchestra behind him in some cases. Heavyweight fighters are usually accustomed fighting guys whose shoes are nailed to the floor and whose arms are big and bulky and who throw slow, hard, ponderous punches. So when you fight a guy like Ali, no one can prepare for it. Play all over Pietrakowski here at the end of round three. It was a clear victory for uh, uh, Cassius Clay. The decision goes to Cassius Clay of the United States. Winning the gold medal for Ali was everything because his future rested on becoming heavyweight champ of the world. That was his goal, that was his objective. With him and the rest of us, winning the gold medal gave us an image booster. It gave us something to sell to the public that says excellence, that says champion, that says you know, he can do it. 